Welcome once again to another episode of Scott Talks Law. So in today's episode we are going to look at the property law. We are going to look at the interest and the rights in property. But we are going to dwell much on the interest and estates. We are going to dwell much on the estates in property. So, as I said earlier on, when I talked about the property as a bundle of sticks, that when someone owns property, he does not own that property, but he owns the interest and the rights in that property. You don't own the property, but you own the interest in that interest in that property. So, interest and estate. So, a tenant's um, interest in property is called an estate. A tenant's interest in property is called estate. When you own an interest in property, when you have an interest in property, we say that it's an estate. Tenure. What is tenure? This is a, a set of conditions upon which this interest and estates in property um, can be held or may be held. It's called tenure, the set of conditions. Those conditions which this property or interest and the rights in property may, may be held. So, uh, estates in property, we have two types of estates. You have the freehold estates and the leasehold estates. So, um, freehold estates, this is whereby a tenant owns this property for a fixed duration but uncertain duration. It's fixed in that a tenant owns this property for as long as he or she lives, for his or her lifetime. But it is uncertain in that nobody knows for how long this person will live. It is fixed and uncertain. Someone owns this property for his or her lifetime, but nobody knows for how long this person will live. So there are types of freehold estates. We have free simple estates, free life estates, and the uh, free tail estates. We have free simple estates, the life estates, and the free tail estates. We also have the uh, estate per active V. I I don't know much about that. So the free simple estate is whereby uh, there is that fixed duration but uncertainty. So this is whereby someone owns this property for a fixed duration but uncertain but this person can transfer this property to his or her heir. So a tenant owns this property plus the heir or someone who will, in, who will inherit that property. So when the heir dies then the property goes back to the grantor. This is whereby possession is fixed and uncertain or ownership. Another type of uh, freehold is uh, free tail estate. This is whereby the tenant, the tenant dies, the property can be transferred to the descendant. It is, it follows that linear, li, li, that line. So, the descendant might occupy, might possess this property upon the death of the tenant or the one who has granted that property. So, this is whereby the possession of property that involves the tenant and the descendant. If the descendant dies, or that the tenant's descendant dies, then the property goes back to the person who has granted that property. So there's fixed period but uncertainty in that period because nobody knows uh, for how long these people will live, for how long the descendants will live, those who have inherited this particular property from the grantor of that property, nobody knows. So another type is the life interests this is whereby the owner of property this is owner, where this ownership of property for as long as these people will live for their lifetime but it's uncertain in that nobody knows for how long these people will keep on living so uh leasehold this is whereby uh, this leasehold is another type of estate is whereby the property is held for a definite duration the duration must be definite. It must have a definite beginning and a definite ending. It must start from this specific time and it must end at this particular period or this particular time. The, the period must be definite. 
if it is a year, then it must be definite that this property is intended to last for a year. So, um, a leasehold, and a leasehold property must have a definite beginning and a definite ending. So, the period might be a year or maybe a month. So, leasehold is whereby there is a definite beginning and a definite ending. The period is definite. So a lease can also be created for a period less than a year. So another type of, of estate is tenancy. And tenancy is just like an, a lease. So a lease and tenancy and a ten and tenancy are used interchangeably. But a lease is used to be find that interest which lasts for a long period. While an estate while a tenancy is used to describe that period, a short time duration of property. A short term duration or short term ownership which is definite is called a tenancy while a lease is that period which is longer than the period which is held by under tenancy so there are types of tenancy you have the tenancy in common and the periodic tenancy so um Under, under a tenancy, a party is supposed to abide by the terms of the tenancy. So this property under tenancy might be brought to an end by notice, by the landlord giving a notice, he might bring that property to an end. So there are types of tenancy. These are the types of tenancy. You have the tenancy, uh, periodic tenancy and tenancy at will. So periodic tenancy according to section 3 of the registration registered land act this is a uh, defines periodic tenancy as the as from year to year half year to half year or weekly monthly or quarterly so it is definite and this period must last might last be, be between a year to that another year a, a half year to another half year weekly monthly or quarterly so uh, this period might be expressed or implied and it might be terminated by notice depending on the agreement of the, of the parties who are involved in that ownership so tenancy at will this is the tenancy that is created upon the landlord and landlord's will and the landlord can terminate that ownership the, that tenancy so this is whereby the landlord gives consent or upon his will tenancy is created and landlord can terminate that particular tenancy. So tenancy in common tenancy is just a lease that is of a shorter duration. A lease that is of a shorter duration. Lease is that periodic that specific period of ownership which is definite and it's longer than that which is a tenancy. So this the they just involve that duration ownership of property. So, tenancy at will. Upon the landlord's consent, tenancy is created. It may be terminated by upon the landlord's consent, and this type of tenancy may be converted to periodic tenancy by manner in which the rent is paid or accepted. It cannot also be converted into periodic tenancy. So, that is the lecture about the property law mainly mainly the interest in property so i kindly request for your subscription support to promote these um, online lessons and to just sub subscribe to support uh, or to promote these online lessons and then more episodes are coming and your subscription will help in that way help this channel grow and it will uh, it will just be helpful it will be helpful so subscribe to Scott's legal channel comment on the comment section on how we should improve uh, on how we should uh, conduct these lessons on it if you find uh, on how you find uh, on how you find these lectures comment whatever comment you wish to comment in the comment section and also like some of the
videos. So thank you and have a good day.